Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture of chemical process design and simulation on the YouTube channel Espentech channel Muhammad Hari Sumayi. We will follow the process flow sheeting module today and in this module we will study the example of production of cyclohexane and we will build the process flow sheet on Espenhysis. So this is the overall schematic diagram of cyclohexane production. If you see the feed which is benzene and hydrogen. If you remember the reaction, the benzene reacts with three moles of hydrogen to produce cyclohexane. So these two are mixed using a mixer, are then fed to this heat exchanger where it is heated and is then fed to the reactor. The heating media in this case is steam. The products of this conversion reactor, obviously there is no liquid present over here. The product of this reactor goes to the cooler and the cooling media which we are using today is cooling water. So these two are basically the heat exchangers, not the heater, not the cooler. We are actually taking a proper example of heat exchanger. Then this cool stream is sent to the separator and then two streams are produced, vapor stream and liquid stream, labeling as S7 and S8 respectively. This stream is then split into two parts. Number one is purge and majority of the stream is recycled back to this portion. Similarly, this S8 stream again split, part of it is recycled while the majority of the part is sent to the distillation column and cyclohexane is obtained from the bottom of this column. So we have to basically simulate this overall process in Espen Hysis starting from the feed and we will include the two recycle systems, the vapor recycle and liquid recycle. So these are the feed conditions. The benzene feed is pure feed with temperature of 100 degree Fahrenheit, pressure 335 PSIF, flow rate 100 pound mole per hour. The hydrogen feed, it contains hydrogen, nitrogen and methane and temperature pressure flow rate conditions are given over here which we will use. Then the, in the reactor stoichiometry, it's a conversion reactor. Benzene reacts with 3 moles of hydrogen to produce cyclohexane with a conversion of 99.8% of benzene and a pressure drop of 15 psi in the reactor. So this will be the new thing which we will study for the first time that how to specify the pressure drop in the reactor. Then in this distillation column the condenser type is full reflux. There are 15 number of stages with feed stage at 8. Reflux ratio is 1.1 and cyclohexane recovery in the bottom is 99.99 mole percent with condenser pressure as 200 psi and Reboiler pressure as 210 PSIA. Then the feed preheater, which was this one because it's a feed preheater. The outlet temperature is 300 degree Fahrenheit and outlet pressure of streams is 330 PSIA. This is the tricky points. Again, the product cooler, outlet temperature of the stream, the product stream is 120 degree Fahrenheit and outlet pressure of streams, both streams, the water and product stream is 310 PSI. The purge stream, which is this one is 8% of the vapor recycle stream, means 8% of S7 is purged while the remaining 92% is S9. Similarly, the 70% of the liquid stream goes to the distillation column. It means that this S10 is 70% of S8 while the 30% is recycled back. The steam operational condition which is used in the preheater, the vapor value is 1, pressure is 340 PSIA and molar flow rate is 1000 pound mole per hour. And for water, the temperature inlet is 77 degree Fahrenheit, pressure 320 psi and molar flow rate is this one, 9 multiplied by 10 is to power 5 pound mole per hour. And their outlet pressure is, for stream it is 330 psi, but for water it is 330 psi. And as you can see the outlet pressure of streams, the so streams means both the outlet streams. So let's quickly go to the Espen Heises and solve this flow sheet over there and obtain our required Specification and the required specification is 99.99 mole percent of cyclohexane in the bottoms. It's the recovery, not the purity. As we have discussed earlier, the difference between the recovery and the purity. And since the system is majorly hydrocarbon, as you can see, and contains nitrogen and hydrogen, so the Pengrobinson property package will be used in this system. So as you can see, the components are added hydrogen, nitrogen, methane, cyclohexane, benzene and water because steam itself is a and then click on add and 
Peng Robinson property package is selected, then go to the reactions, click on add, add reaction, and it's a conversion reactor. So conversion reaction will be added. And then the reaction is that benzene reacts with hydrogen to produce cyclohexane. This one is minus one, this one is minus three, and this one is plus one. And as you can see, balance error is zero, it means it has been properly specified and the specification to be given is 99.8% of benzene. So it means it will be 99.8% of benzene and it is now ready. And add to fluid package, add set to fluid package. And after that, you can simply go to the simulation environment. I would suggest you to do the same exercise in S Plus or if needed, you can tell me in comments and I will prepare the same video for S Plus. Now first we will Install the blocks over here and then we will do the specifications. So, first it's mixer which will be installed, then it will be the heat exchanger, the feed preheater, then the reactor which is the conversion reactor. It will be added, then an other heat exchanger which is the feed cooler, and I will zoom it out a bit to make it clear and visible. Then the separator is added over here. Then the split is added, number one, number two split, and then the distillation column is added over here. The major distillation column unit, we will again simulate it and uh, like we will again rearrange it. Then the recycle systems, one recycle and cycle number two. After that, now we will do the labeling of the systems in the mixer. We are getting the feed benzene, feed B, and feed S2. Currently, we have these two feeds only. So, we will first solve the system without recycle and then we will solve the system with recycle. So, the S2 stream is produced over here. This S2 stream goes here and S3 stream is produced. Here, stream in and steam out. Obviously, it's a non-regress heat exchanger. So, we can place either stream at tube and shell side. But once we are doing a regress heat exchanger design, obviously in our upcoming videos, then we have to select carefully which stream to be entered in shell and which stream to be entered in tube. So, as you can see, the system is again placed over here. Then this S3 stream, I will Arrange it as well so that there is no problem at all. Then this S3 stream is entered over here. And S4 is the vapor outlet. S5 is the liquid outlet. Right now, we are only doing the connections. We will give the specifications one by one. Now, the S4 stream is entered. The heat exchanger and S6 stream is produced. Water in. Obviously, nomenclature is a bit different from the diagram. But this is to make sure that there is no cramming in the nomenclature. You can give nomenclature as per your own needs and requirements. Then this S6 stream enters here in the flash separator, which is V100. Even you can rename it as well. And S7 and S8 streams are produced. And again, arranging it a bit. To make sure that the flow sheet looks good in all aspects. Then, first we will solve the system here till now and then we will go back to the recycling system. So, what is the feed conditions of benzene? Mole fraction of benzene is 1, temperature is 100 degree Fahrenheit, pressure 335 psia, and flow rate 100 pound mole per hour. So as you can see, 100 degree Fahrenheit, 335 PSIA, 100 pound mole per hour and mole fraction of benzene is 1. And I have chosen field 1C unit set because it's the right unit set, appropriate unit set for this system. Similarly, for hydrogen, 120 degree Fahrenheit, 335 PSIA, 310 pound mole per hour with fraction of hydrogen 0.975, nitrogen 0.005 and methane 0.02. So as you can see, 120 degree Fahrenheit, 335 psi, 310 pound mole per hour, and fraction hydrogen 0.975, nitrogen 0.005, and methane 0.02. And as you can see, once 
you have entered the specification of these two, the mixer block is solved because its degree of freedom is zero, as we have discussed various times in our previous lectures as well. Now, first we need to specify the steam because we have not specified the feed as steam vapor is one, pressure 340 psi and flow rate 1000 pound mole per hour. So, as you can see, the vapor value of steam in is one, pressure is 340 psi, flow rate is 1000 pound mole per hour, and mole fraction of steam in is or water is one. You can specify here in the block or you can specify in steam in. It's up to you. This is the advantage which you, you have got in S Pen Hysis, but not in S Pen Plus. Now, what are the conditions that in feed preheater, the outlet temperature of the stream, the feed stream is 300 degree Fahrenheit and outlet pressure of the streams is 330 PSI. So, what we need to do, it is 300 degree Fahrenheit and 330 PSI for both these stream. And as you can see, it has been converged. You can obviously go to the performance and check the values of FT correction factor and so on. It's up to you. Now, going here in the conversion reactor, you need to specify the reaction set. And after specifying the set, you can see it is okay because feed to the reactor is already specified. Once you have given the reaction set, the block is converged. After that, you have to go to here to the feed preheater. And again, first you need to specify the water inlet conditions, which is 77 degree Fahrenheit, P20 PSIA, 9 EF5, and 1 for water. But if you remember, or if you see, we have missed a point which you might be thinking if you have carefully listened till now. What was that point? If I take you back to the reactor, we need to specify the pressure drop in the reactor, which is the delta P and it is 15 PSI, not PSIA, not PSIG, it is 15 PSI. So you can see entering 330 PSIA, 315 PSIA and 315 PSIA. So I have just skip this point intentionally to make you think that you had to enter here and might you might be searching over here as well. Now, what are the outlet conditions of pressure and temperature? Outlet temperature is 120 degree Fahrenheit and pressure is 310 PSIA. So, it is 120 and 310 PSIA and 310 PSIA. Be careful while solving for the units because these units can lead to some problems if selected wrong or inconsistent like for if you had specified here 15 psig it would have been different so now after the flash separator you can see you have got the two streams s7 and s8 110.6 pound mole per hour was total s6 s8 out of which 70 percent will go to the distillation column and 30 percent will recycle while from s7 8 percent will be purged and remaining will be recycled so, in S7, you can see there is no benzene, part of cyclohexene, but the major fraction of cyclohexane is in bottom, which is the S8. So, and the same stream is going to the distillation column for further purification. So, what you need to do now, you need to connect it. And first, I will go to the flow sheet modifier and I will rotate it. And once after rotating, you can see now I will connect this S8 stream over here and I will further align it to ensure now, as you can see this has been aligned. So this rotate is a good tool if you want to align the stream or even you can click on auto position or but it will auto position as per its own requirements. And there are two streams produced from it S10 and S12 and you need to specify either flow ratio for S10 or S12. You know the flow ratio which is that S10, which is the stream going to the distillation column, is 70% of total. So you need to specify the 0.7, or here you can specify 0.3. It is not 70%, it will be point, or if you specify here 70, it will be minus 16. So you can see the disaster over here. So obviously, you have to specify in terms of friction, it is 0.7. And again, the direction you need to change it. So what you need to do, you need to rotate it. And once you rotate it, you can see it is now much better. And connect recycle with it. And once you connect to the recycle S12 and the outlet stream is S14. So for now, it is okay. There is no problem because it is not connected to the system yet. Once it is connected to the system, the real problem will come 
there similarly i will connect the upper part and again i will rotate it and then i will rotate it as well make it sure that s7 is connected over here and further aligning it and it will be yes this is how it might work or maybe one more rotate and yes you can see it has worked now so just spending some part on it to make you realize how important it is to rearrange the pft this is the pulse stream number one and the second one is s9 and you know the purge total 8% of the total. So it will be 0 0.08, not 0 0.8. So 92% is S9 and this one is purge. So realigning it again the, in the same way. So as you can see, the purge is here, S9 is here. And then clicking on recycle and connecting is S9. And then S11 is produced. And now these two streams are available to be recycled as 14 and as 11 but before doing it let's go here and connect it to the distillation column that s10 is connected here there are 15 stages of this column q condenser condenser type is full reflux so it's the overhead vapor o v o overhead vapor outlet it will be q r v boiler and b l o it's up to you you want to give the nomenclature of your own Needs. Next, next, it is 200 PSIA. It is 210 PSIA as we have discussed earlier. Again, next, next, and you have been given the reflux ratio of 1.1 molar, but you have not given any condition regarding the vapor flow rate. But you have been given the condition that 15, 8, 1.1, 99.99 mole percent of cyclohexane is recovered. And you have given the pressures over here. So, what you need to do, click on done and then go to this monitor inactivate add spec column component recovery component recovery in stream number blo the bottom stream and the spec value is 0 0.9999 99.99 .99. if you I take you back again 99.99 .99, so it will be 0.9999 of cyclohexane in the bottom and it is active it is active to our active degree of freedom is zero click on run and the column is converged and you can go here in worksheet and you can see in the compositions that in blo 99.8 percent cyclohexane is produced the 99.999 percent was its recovery but its small fraction or its purity in the bottom product is 19.8 with remaining fraction of unconverted or unreacted benzene so far so good because this system is without recycle but what happens when we do the recycling we have to see it as well so what we need to do again i'm making it look clearer here click on this mixer and attach s11 and s14 streams with it s11 and s14 streams so both these streams are connected over here and you can see there are no warnings related to the recycle and both these recycled are converged in the system the only information which it required is related to the internals again we have already studied it thoroughly so you can do it at your own as well and again clicking here and seeing what are the compositions and you can see its purity has further increased by recycling so you can see 99.86 percent earlier it was 99.8 percent and now 99.86 percent cyclohexane is produced in the system so you can see the advantages of recycling the liquid stream and vapor stream in the system and it would have definitely some effect on the performance of the column so your task is to check what was the performance of the distillation column before recycle and after recycle and you can tell me in the comment section as well so that's how the whole system of cyclohexane production simulated so that's it from this lecture please do watch the video like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel Spentech. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned.